Welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. And today, guys, I will be planting my blueberries. I've had these for several months now. I bought them on clearance uh, at Lowe's for $2. And I've been dragging my feet about putting them in the ground. And so I have designated uh, today as the day that I will get this done. Um, I also have some grapes also that I purchased for $2 and they are the Concord grapes, as you see here. These were $2 as well, and I'll be getting them in the ground also, but in a different area uh, of my garden. And as you can see here, it is the Concord grape, and uh, these will be in addition to my uh, Muscadine grapes, and I have one that is a white table grape. Um, but what I'm going to do now, and I have cardboard here that I am going to use to surround the blueberries. And then once I'm able to get uh, a wood chip drop, um, I'm going to cover the cardboard with wood chips. Um, and also uh, the blueberries here. These are the sharp bell, I'm sorry, sharp blue blueberries. And uh, I have uh, three of these. And I have additional um, blueberries also in the fenced in area. Uh, but these are all additions uh, to what I already have. And as you can see, I've dug my holes and made sure that uh, the blueberry would fit inside of the holes. And so what I'm going to do now is go on and um, place these in the ground, remove the pot, um, I have some potting, not potting, but some topsoil that I got that was a busted bag. And the topsoil, I think it sells for like a dollar and 58 cents, but because it was busted, uh, it was half price. Uh, but I'm also going to be adding um, some uh, fertilizer here. And I'm using the Pennington Ultra Green Azalea, Camellia, and Rhododendron plant food. And um, it has uh, the nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, and potassium in it, so I don't need to add any other amendments. Um, but it says also that it's specifically designed for acid-loving plants. And so I'm going to mix a little of this as well into the soil. And once I get these all in the ground, I'll come back and let you see how it looks. So I've gotten the blueberries in the ground. And uh, what I did uh, was after I put the topsoil around it in the fertilizer, I kind of stepped all around it to uh, make sure there were no air pockets. And then I added an extra layer of topsoil and sprinkled more of the fertilizer on top. And so this one has been done. The next one. And also this one. Uh, and what I forgot to mention to you is that the bull, um, the bull's garden uh, was planting this Nanking cherry and I uh, saw it at the tractor supply. So I want to uh, give this a try as well. And uh, this is uh, totally new to me. I haven't heard of the Nanking cherry uh, before, but as you can see here, it was $7.99. And uh, the growing zone uh, is zones two through eight. Uh, so I'm assuming that um, it doesn't like uh, too much sun, although it says full sun. Uh, but where I'm planting it, the sunlight is uh, somewhat um, full sun, but it's also slightly filtered because of the trees uh, that's surrounding the area. So I'm gonna go on and get this one. As you can see here, there's a little foliage at the top. I'll get this one planted and come back with you and share that with you, okay? So here is the uh, grape plant and I'm planting it along the fence line here um, in the market garden area. And um, I had cardboard, as you can see here, under the wood chips that I've used uh, wood chips just to cover all of the aisles and all the areas around my raised beds and so um, it had all the wood chips had started breaking down 
but what I'm simply going to do here is to put this soil back in it that was a that I dug up from the ground and I'm going to cover it back up with this cardboard and apply the wood chips back and make sure it's snug in here really good and uh, it's pretty moist as you know we've had snow and then we've had a whole lot of rain and I'm just going to pull put these uh, wood chips back around it to try to suppress the weeds and uh, I'm going to come back and uh, water it in. I've watered the um, blueberries with my little water pail, but it's not enough for the, the grapes as well. So that's one down and one more grape plant to, grow, to go. And this is the second Concord grape. And uh, I've got it in the ground and I've tried to lean it towards the fence line so that it can grow along the fence line. And I'm just going to push all this back in, cover it back up with the wood chips. And the only other thing I have to do is to get it watered. But there you have it, guys. Um, I've planted three new blueberries, one nanking cherry, and two Concord grapes. And uh, I'll share with you my other blueberries that I have growing uh, so that you can take a look at those as well. And here are my other blueberries, and as you can see, it's starting to bud. This is uh, the regular blueberry, and I have two regular blueberries in here, as well as two of the pink lemonade. Here's one of the pink lemonade, and it's got a few buds on it as well. And back here is another regular blueberry. And you see the buds are coming through. These shrubs here are, uh, this is going on their fourth year. And um, I received the blueberries last year for the first time. Uh, but I only received like a handful here and there. And here's another one of the pink lemonade blueberries only a few buds on it. It seems to grow a little slower than my other blueberries. And I have a few more blueberries in other areas and I'll take you there so you can see them as well. Here are the other blueberries here. I have one here, here, and there. Now this one in the middle here seems to be budding faster than the others, as you can see here. And these are the Brightwell blueberries. I try to keep a tag on at least one of them so I can remember what type of blueberry it is. And then here's one over here. And it has not budded out as of yet. But all of my blueberries today will be getting a little fertilizer. So as that um, a lot of our rainy season comes in, it'll be able to be fertilized earlier on in the growing season. And I have two more blueberries that I purchased for $2 that I will be growing in pots and I'll take you over and show you those as well. And here are my other blueberries that I purchased uh, from Lowe's on clearance. Um, this is a new variety. It's called Bushel and Berry. And uh, it's considered a Sapphire Cascade blueberry. Um, and down here below, as you can see, it says perfect for a hanging basket. Um, but this is about a three gallon container. So I can't uh, imagine having this in a hanging basket. but. Uh, if you look on the back of this plant tag here, it has an illustration uh, of the blueberry in a hanging basket. And it says that it's the first hanging basket blueberry on the market. Wow, uh, it's hardy in zones five through nine and uh, requires full sun and moderate watering. 
it gives you a pretty description about it as you can see here it says hang this plant next to your colorful annuals for a beautiful and delicious combination clusters of sweet blueberries will cover the plants throughout the season and the leaves will turn deep red and green in winter months and as you can see here that is exactly correct because they did turn a deep red but as you can see, it's budding for new leaves. And so I'm going to get these in some larger pots and uh, also fertilize it with my acid loving fertilizer. And I also use that same fertilizer for my citrus. Okay, guys, so today uh, I feel like I've accomplished a lot. I've planted my blueberries. Uh, grapes and my first Nanking uh, cherry plant today and uh, I'm really grateful to be able to be out in the garden today the weather is absolutely beautiful um, but I came out early in the morning and uh, now I'm ready for my breakfast of the day um, but uh, just wanted to share my journey with you today and hope that all of you are safe and well and uh, if you're new to my channel uh, hope that you would consider subscribing hit the like button and the notification bell for future videos thank you so much for watching me today god bless bye bye